we'll say we'll set the how about we set the ADR so we'll say copy paste and we say the a direction equals right so now the alien will be pointed right and if it's pointed right then what we can do is we can take this alien again copy paste and set its X property plus equal and what we'll do is we'll say DR which will set for direction right now we don't have a variable for direction right so I'm gonna go right outside of this function and make a quick variable on the fly and just say DR equals 6 so now that will move let's say 6 all right and and that's it so we'll copy this we'll say copy paste 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 and after these we'll put else's why do you want to put an else you want to put an else so that the code doesn't execute as much and we say as long as it's less than or equal to two one zero right and we'll do dr dl d up and d down dr dl d up and dd so this direction will be down this direction will be up and this direction will be left right of course if we're moving things right and left we're adjusting the X property but if we're moving things up and down we're adjusting the Y property and then we need to make the rest of our variables so we say copy paste 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 negative 6 this is for DL and then we do up D up which is negative 6 and DD which is D down which is 6 so now this should work alright that looks good right there so what that'll do is it will set the ADR equal to a word which will set it to true which means this will no longer function right and what we see the key here is to set the direction of the alien increment him in that direction but we don't want this to change every time otherwise the alien will be changing directions too often and they won't go anywhere so we want this thing to only execute once and by saying if not aliens ADR and then setting the ADR now it's true and now the flag has turned true instead of false right and remember this is that not in front right that stands for not now this is true so this will set the alien and move it once in one direction and now what we need to do is keep moving it in the direction that we need to move to but how do we do that so to do that is not that hard because we said first of all this if statement if this is false right if not the ADR right so now what we can do is that means we can go here and we can say else and we can put an else statement right at the bottom so we'll say else open curly brace close curly brace and we say let's see here we're gonna need this copy so we'll say if paste equals and then we could say for instance if it equals right for instance if aliens a direction equals right and of course it's not just one equal sign it's a double equal sign then we have to do an open curly brace right here I'm gonna close curly brace and then all we have to do is move the direction accordingly so we'll say just copy this piece right here copy 
paste. All right. And now we'll just copy that and paste it and paste it and paste it. And of course, I prefer to do else statements before the if. That way, if statements always have to else execute. But else if statements do not always have to execute. So that's why they're better. So, because they speed up your game. And then here, we would say up and down and of course we have to adjust du dd and we need to do y instead so now if we play our game let's get to the second level as quickly as possible and let's see if our aliens move accordingly Okay, so I'm getting chased, but these guys are not moving. Okay, so we have to say, why is that the case? All right, function move aliens to, if game level equals, double equals two, this should be working. So, we'll go up to the top, move alien interval to, move aliens to, right? So we see here, this is our key right here, alien move clock to. Of course, we have our alien move clock to, so the question is, why isn't this functioning? let's see if it actually is firing. So to test to see if it's firing, let's just trace it. Move aliens to. That looks like that would work. Trace one. So we can see that one happened once, right? But it didn't happen again. So what needs to happen? Well, when we get to game level two, we probably, since at game level one, we cleared the interval. The interval stopped at game level one. So when we get to game level two, there's no more interval. So what we need to do is we need to activate this interval on game level two. Well, where does that happen? Well, if we look in our moving lasers, right, and the lasers decide when we get to a new level, right? So now what we need to do is figure out how can we set that, that, that interval again when we get to that level. So in other words, this thing would work if we didn't get rid of that in other words, if we took this move aliens and we decided to just do nothing there, I believe this would work. Now you can see the ones firing. So you can see that the move alien two interval is firing, right? And now when we get to level two, you can see they're moving, right? So, but you see a couple of problems. You can see he's moving, but the other ones have moved off screen. So an another problem that we we'll have to account for is keeping them on screen and also whether or not we want to clear that interval and reset that interval.